If you've done much with custom UI in Godot, you may have noticed a nasty little side effect that some components such as the option button come with. A lack of transparency on corners. Sure, you can create such a style, but it typically doesn't actually render as you'd expect. There's a few bug reports and proposals about this on GitHub, and it does seem to be on the radar, but I needed some way to make it work with Unto Deepest Depths, which is not only built with 4.2, but also had a planned demo release in September, so I couldn't wait for a new engine version. I did figure out a little funky way to fix it though. If you look at the Godot docs, when a user clicks on an option button, it displays a pop-up menu containing the list of options. This menu has viewport as an ancestor, which has transparent BG as a property. When this property is set to true, the viewport will render its background as transparent, and a quick test confirms that getting a reference to the pop-up menu on an option button and setting this property to true does indeed fix the rendering issue. So that's the fix, but it is a little bit unwieldy, as you now have to have every option button apply this to its pop-up menu. Each button does seem to at least only generate one pop-up menu on creation and then keep it for the life of the button, so one option is to create a custom class and always have your option buttons inherit from it. This is definitely better, but that does still mean that every option button has to have this script or a child of it on it. Plus, while I don't think pop-up menus are used elsewhere in the UI, I'm actually not 100% certain of that. It's not a terrible fix, but I did want something a little bit more hands-off and thorough. So I went with something that's a little bit funkier but easier to manage. Make an auto-loaded script that connects to the node added signal of the scene tree and automatically apply a transparent background to any pop-up menu that's added to it. Node added is emitted any time a node enters the scene tree, so for every node that's added, I try and cast it to a pop-up menu. If it succeeds, the variable will be properly set, and therefore truthy, and I can set transparent background to true. If casting fails, the variable will be set to null, and therefore be falsy, and that's the end of its time in the function. Now every pop-up menu in the game is automatically configured to have a transparent background when used. It's not exactly great that this code has to run on every node that's added to the tree, but my testing shows that this check takes about a microsecond and sometimes less to run, so I can process a lot of nodes in a single frame before causing any appreciable performance impact. It is of course all trade-offs, but this way I don't have to worry about forgetting to add a script somewhere, and my game's simple enough it's not going to really matter. So that's how I gave myself transparent pop-up menus in Godot.